And in this in-depth video, I'm going to show you how to optimize your title tags like an SEO pro. And watch until the end because I'll show you how you can use ChatGPT to optimize your title tags for SEO so you can skyrocket your organic CTR. So here are 17 ways to optimize your title tags for better rankings, CTR, and social sharing. Number one, focus on the content first. It doesn't matter how well you optimize your title tag, if the page itself is low value. Getting the click is critical, but your page must satisfy intent and please your users. So as long as your content delivers on the promise of the title, then you'll be good to go. Number two, front load your primary keyword. If you approach crafting your title tags from a searcher intent perspective, it will make sense to have the keyword phrase front and center. If someone searches for best baseball cleats, they're likely to click on a result that showcases that keyword right away. Now keep in mind that front loading doesn't mean that your keyword phrase needs to be first in the title tag. It just means it needs to be towards the beginning. Here's some examples. Number three, write for searchers, not search engines. Yes, place your keyword in the title tag, but don't do this. You wouldn't believe how often I find this type of title tag stuffing in SEO audits. And there are a few reasons why you shouldn't stuff keywords in your title tag. First, it's not necessary. Google's algorithms are much more sophisticated than they used to be. And that means it can identify synonyms and variations of your keywords. You don't need to jam keyword variations into your title tag. Instead, you can place keyword variations or synonyms naturally throughout your copy and you'll still perform well for them given you did everything else right. Second, you're losing precious title tag real estate. When you stuff your title tag full of keywords, you're losing the ability to use effective copywriting and persuasion. More on this in a second. Number four, use shorter titles. Matthew Barbie's research found that a shorter titles tend to perform better in Google. Try to stay below 60 characters, including spaces. And if you're struggling to keep it under 60 characters, you should try the following. First, avoid using all caps in your title tag. Capital letters take up more space than lowercase letters. Avoid using punctuation when necessary. Remove redundant or repetitive words and use short phrases instead of long, complicated ones. Number five, avoid duplicating page titles. No two pages that you wanna be indexed in Google should have the same title. And the best way to find duplicate page titles is to use Screaming Frog SEO Spider. So just open up Screaming Frog enter the target domain and click on the page titles tab. Then click the filter drop down and select duplicate. Then just sort the list by titles. Now you only need to be concerned about duplicate title tags if your page is indexed. And the new version of Screaming Frog makes it super easy with its new indexability column. Now keep in mind if you do have duplicate or similar page titles, it's often a symptom of keyword cannibalization which is when two or more pages are targeting the same keyword phrase, which can wreck your Google rankings. Like this video if you want me to do an in-depth video about how to fix keyword cannibalization. Number six, use title modifiers. So if you dig through my content on Gotcha SEO, you'll discover that I love using title modifiers because it's one of the best ways to drive long tail traffic without much effort. I actually call this the phantom technique because many of these keyword variations are largely untapped. So some simple title modifiers you can use are top, best, or even the year. But one important note, if it's relevant to use a year in your title tag, make sure that your URL doesn't include it. For example, I update my anchor text guide every year and change the year in the title tag, but the URL never changes. That means I can continue to build the authority of this page because my URL isn't changing every year. Number seven, emphasize freshness. Do you know anyone that prefers old content? I definitely don't. And that's why emphasizing freshness in your title works really well. One persuasion principle that I picked up from Frank Kern is that people love new things. In fact, something simply being new can be a big driving force. Hence the reason why you're more likely to buy a newer model car than a car from the 80s. Another example is when you see training courses use 2.0 or revamped in their headline. They're emphasizing freshness. And so some easy ways to incorporate freshness into your title tags are to use the word new, use the year, or even use new data. Number eight, use the H and W strategy. So it's simple. Just use one of the following words in your title tag. How, what, why, when, where, or who. And here are some successful examples. How to tie a Windsor knot, what are second cousins versus cousins once removed, why the Myers-Briggs test is meaningless, 21 high protein snacks to eat when you're trying to be healthy, and the complete guide to where to put your eye makeup. Number nine, use numbers. 
We've all been victims of consuming numbered listicles at one point or another, and that's because they're super effective. According to a study by Conductor, they found that 36% of respondents preferred headlines that included numbers. So an example of an effective listicle post is 18 unforgettable countries where you can roll big on $50 a day. And outside of the traditional listicle, you can also use monetary values such as Silicon Valley $400 juicer may be feeling the squeeze. Or you can use percentages in your title tags like Nike's online sales jumped 31% after company unveiled Kaepernick campaign. Number 10, the secret title tag hack that copywriters hate. Oh yes, the classic clickbait headline. And I know I've fallen for many and that's because they work, mainly because they leave open loops in our mind and engage our natural human curiosity. The trick here is to give readers a sneak peek into what they can find out by clicking on your link without giving too much away. Employ as much tantalizing language as necessary. And remember, you need to evoke surprise and amazement or speak to deeply rooted fear. And you can combine this technique with other techniques above to create a truly click worthy title. An example is seven unbelievable exercises that will help keep your nose in shape. Now one note is use clickbait tactics few and far between because they can be annoying or unauthentic. Overuse could definitely hurt your brand's perceived value. Number 11, be the most comprehensive. Fear of missing out or FOMO applies in many different scenarios, but especially with knowledge gaps. People want assurance that they aren't missing out on any important information. And that's why ultimate guides tend to work really well. Here's an example, the ultimate guide to brunching in NYC. Number 12, emphasize speed or time savings. One of the most powerful benefits to emphasize is saving time. Although this usually applies to products, it can be emphasized in title tags as well. Use words like fast, quick, or simple. Here's an example, how to get rid of stretch marks fast. Number 13, break the pattern. Pattern interrupts are common in video content, but there are ways to break the patterns in the SERPs as well. Some of the best methods are to use brackets, curly brackets, parentheses, equal signs, plus signs, or even minus signs, or pretty much any unordinary symbol. And you can also test using emojis in title tags as well. Number 14, use ChatGPT to generate title variations. Okay, so all you need to do is just put in a very simple prompt into GPT-4 inside of ChatGPT, and all it's gonna say is just give me 20 SEO title ideas, and then you're gonna put your keyword right here in between these quotes, and then use this exact criteria, and then just go ahead and start it. Number 15, score your SEO title ideas. So then once it gives you the title tag ideas, all you need to do is follow it up with this prompt, which is gonna make ChatGPT give us grades based on the clickability and relevance to the main keyword that you entered. And then once that's done, I want you to go over to Google Bard and run the same exact prompt. You'll just need to paste in the titles from ChatGPT and then Google Bard will actually calculate the their own score as well using their own unique algorithm. Then what we're gonna do, the final step is we're gonna take your scores from Google Bard and you're gonna take your scores from ChatGPT and you're gonna add it into a Google Sheet and that way we can get an average. So now what we're gonna see is we have an app, we have ChatGPT scoring, we have Bard scoring, and then we have our average, which means now we're looking at really what are the best title tags based on what the AI is telling us. And then the last step is just to simply go and test these title tags. Number 16, launch a title tag test. So Google Search Console shows you CTR data for your organic keywords. So just click on the performance tab and you'll have access to all kinds of useful data. And although your CTR is determined by more than just your title tag, it's one of the most important factors. So if you're ranking well, but your CTR is subpar, then you should test changing your title. And you can also use seotesting.com to streamline your testing efforts. And number 17, be realistic. All of these methods will help you optimize your title tags for peak SEO performance, but don't forget, placing your keyword in your title tag is a micro ranking factor. Think of it as a bare minimum for ranking well. So please like this video if you got value and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching.